A code editor is something sort of similar to a word processor, although it has a couple important features. One thing is that um, if you save a document with an application like Word, then it saves a lot of other information in the document that um, we can't see. And so uh, this invisible characters that are in those documents can cause havoc, uh, especially if we're trying to write something like computer programmers. So typically code editors do not add these sort of invisible characters. Most computers come with a very simple editor. For example, this Mac here comes with an editor called text edit. If the text editor has a lot more features, such as showing syntax highlighting and automatic text formatting, depending on the kind of document you're doing, then we tend to call it a code editor. So here's an example of how a code editor is different. This is a code editor. Um, that's writing uh, Python code. And so you can see that different types of text, different commands are in different colors. It also automatically manages indentation levels and things like that. There are a lot of different code editor options. There's two that I'm going to recommend. The code editor that I use most of the time is actually the Visual Studio Code, which is also known as VS Code because it doesn't really have anything to do with Visual Studio. And this is a really full featured code editor. It has a lot of powerful tools for um, debugging different coding languages. Atom is actually created by the same team that runs GitHub. So it has the ability to interact in special ways with GitHub. It has a really easy to use markdown preview. So if you are editing with Adam and you want to see how the markdown that you're writing looks, you can just open up the preview and look at it side by side as you're editing the document. And a side benefit is it also has very cute emblems as well.